Hi, how are you today? Welcome again to this uh, videos about the CSN studies of lucidity. Uh, today we're gonna have a session about um, on the series day by day. That uh, probably you know is about this practical approach to pro practical application of the studies of the that the Shishen did to understand the world and the universe surrounding them. Uh, I have a special love for this for this series because it always reminds me to my my relation with my master this this large conversations we have and uh, applying all these things we study not being so rational but more human more 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 close one to each other and and talking about uh, human and divine things you no know? Uh, studies are really important for me. The videos of the studies are, are really, really important because they allow me to share and and to divulgate um, this this great culture that has given me so many important things and 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 to which I owe so much. But this day by day series is like um, you know it's like like touching closer what everything is about and, and I have a special a special uh, love for it. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, arrogance. Uh, as many of you know we talked about perfection and failure and arrogance some weeks ago and I have received some questions especially from people that that's, that was really 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 uh, demanding to them to themselves. After after watching the video, they felt they felt identified with what I was talking on on this video, and even with guilt, they they uh, demanded too much to themselves, which is kind of curious because this is actually what the video was about about perfectionism about this kind of arrogance uh, behavior and, and, and it's a kind of crime to, uh, to, that you are committing to yourself or against yourself because after behind this, this behavior there is this uh, necessity for perfection that, that we were actually trying not to fall in so I would like to go a little further, a little beyond on, on arrogance and, and I would like to start talking about it um, uh, reminding you that arrogance, uh, arrogance is, the, is normally the first and worst sin on every spiritual tradition and on every religion. This is not just a casual, this is not a casual situation. This is because it's probably the most destructive vice and sin that you could commit to yourself and to the people surrounding you. As, as a definition, arrogance is, is, is normally can be explained with this, um, this, uh, this quote or, 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 or this uh, sentence that says that, says that uh, arrogance says that there are two ways to do things, mine and the wrong one. Uh, it's the necessity of these people to, that have to be right, to, to know more than any other, to, to impose her or, her or his vision, to leave, it, to leave it as right because they live their reality as the only one, they truly live it as the only one. They are blind to the other, uh, to, to other visions, to other opinions. They try to impose it and they disdain um, other people's opinions. They, they just contempt, has a, has a, they, they just have a contempt uh, feeling uh, when talking about other visions. This, this is the definition aspect. It's easy, it's the, it's the, the easy part because Every, every, almost everyone knows about it and uh, everyone uh, can tell about arrogance in this way. But there are more subtle aspects of arrogance which are the ones that I would like to talk today in this video. 
One of them is, as I was telling you before, perfection. We talked about this on the on the other video, but I would like to remind this. Um, the arrogance behind perfection is the, this behavior that that can't admit failure, that can't admit being human, that needs um, that need not to need to 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 have support from a movie, from a song, from a, from going out when you are when you are upset, when you are not feeling good, they need to be perfect. They they don't they don't uh, accept any help from any uh, of any kind from any 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 person or any tool. They they, they if they feel bad, they f if they feel sad, they must impose themselves themselves the, the the overcoming of the situation without any help and uh, and this is like a, a really big stone that they are charging with and they are so demanding they are demanding with themselves they are demanding with other people they arrive to violence to in the in their demands to in order to get satisfied the satisfy their demands they they obviously um, uh, speak la loud and then and, and they they arrive to to f verbal and, fi and physical violence they um, they give so much importance to every little thing everything is important everything is like black or white and everything must must be perfect and and uh, and, pe and people in, in in the middle are just things they are they have no feeling they are just objects and and they must satisfy uh, this perfection uh, necessity. They normally impose themselves uh, more difficult uh, uh, situations. They 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 are the ones that on the gym try to to lift more weight, uh, not because of vanity, but because of of the idea that 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 them me. I can't uh, be the weak one in the gym. I can't stand that. I can't. I can't stand the idea of of being inferior. It's not. I don't need to to show off, but I need to be superior. This is the perfection. The idea of arrogance behind it. This was this was what we were talking about on the last video. I just wanted to to go a little deeper. Uh, but I will I will go to to other behaviors that probably you you will be able to identify on on the Arawan people. They have a social they have a need for a social image to keep up with, not because of vanity as I was telling before, but because they have a, a kind of talent mindset. They have uh, they live the myth of the chosen one. They 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 don't see life as as a growing path they don't see life as, as a continuous improvement they um, they 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 don't stand many times going to job interviews because because or or going to starting new relationships uh, friendships or or love relationships because they can't stand the idea of having to sh to show their value they, they don't need it because they are superior they can't stand um, the idea they can't stand the idea of, of failing on the process uh, this is why on many relations uh, relationships they cannot they fail because they cannot they don't approach because they cannot stand failing but also because they don't need it because uh, because for the mere fact of being them they should have uh, the recognition and and the admiration of the other so so it's like come on i don't need to to show this uh, to, to to show the way i am to this little company uh, maybe it's if, if it's apple or if, or if it's microsoft i i will do it because they are they are at, on my level you know but if it's this little company just uh, uh, two or three shops in in a little town i i don't need to to show anything because because I'm above everything, and they are they are also um, 
they, they normally steal knowledge, they steal merits from others, they, uh, they don't give the recognition to the source of the knowledge, they need the knowledge to be theirs, and, and many times they, they even um, tell their, their own lies to themselves because they need to satisfy the idea that, that they have this power, this superior uh, capacity uh, from the cradle. And, and, uh, and they, they steal knowledge, they steal abilities, they, they get knowledge from people and they act as if it was them. Right? It was theirs, sorry. And, uh, and, uh, and it's a quite common behavior. Um, they m need to know more than anyone they are always in the competition to acquire uh, knowledge and uh, to shut up people when they are in a conversation and and obviously not for growing not for improvement but to just to keep up with this uh, social image they must uh, project all the time and and, uh, and it's it's it sounds ridiculous but it's the way it is they have a special relationship with power. They feel many times insecure with power. They are excellent slaves when in a hierarchical situation and they are excellent dictators. Normally when they are subordinated, they, they behave as, as slaves and with their own subordinates, um, they, are, they act like these dictators with, with a, always uh, a spectacular show of authority and and power and and maybe because of that there is another trait another another characteristic that that is that their their relationships their friendships are not lasting not, not, normally they don't last that much because um normally this their relationships uh, stop abruptly and they, they stop, uh, they are always in the white and black mindset and they, it's quite common from them to not to talk to you anymore after an after offense, after, after a problem you have with them and, and, and they normally deal with situations in this, in this way they don't understand any other way that uh, apart from punishing you to the maximum level they can because um, you know they are they and they must do it and and, and and it's their normal thing it's the right thing to do it's to put you on your place and and to keep you there because they are above everything and uh, and, and it's quite common that that all the conflicts it's quite common that you know it's this behavior that you have a conflict with them and they they they, they, they stop being your friend at Facebook because, um, you know, maximum response to any offense. And the result is that they normally um, live in solitude and, and they are normally alone and they, they, they tend to be alone. And, uh, and it's quite sad, but they, I, there's always, I always say, uh, a, a, a popular sentence, a Greek, an ancient Greek popular sentence that says that the, um, the ropes ties uh, both the dog and the, and the owner because the arrogant always sees the situation from the owner perspective that they don't understand that, that, um, that in order to keep your status of the of, of being a, the owner of the of the of the dog and to enslave uh, enslave it, um, you are also tied to it uh, for life, uh, and 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 it and it and the situation you want to impose is also uh, enslaving you, and uh, this is why they 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 become alone people. But uh, that thing they want, which is recognition, which is to be the chosen one, to be above everything, they normally um, they normally lose it, uh, like the water between the fingers, because um, because they're acting uh, 
gets all the, all the contrary results. And uh, and as as I always say, uh, every illness, every vice, every every sin has a contradiction in it, in, in an inner contradiction that that makes makes uh, you lose what you most uh, desire. There are more there are more behaviors that are common from arrogant people. There is um, a special relationship with forgiveness. They can't forgive. They can't forgive themselves. They can't forgive other people. They need to to keep up with with um, with the bill. They they need to 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 adjust everything with you. They they don't they don't uh, ask for forg for forgiveness. They um, they as I was telling telling you before they need maximum justice and every offense needs to be needs to be punished and uh, they can't they can't they just can't uh, forgive and it's quite sad but it's the way it is they also are um, people that try to manipulate situations they have a um, kind of machiavellian ma behavior they try to control other people and they try to to treat people as, as things or or just uh, uh, tools uh, to their own to their own uh, objectives, and, uh, and it, it's quite uh, quite a, a a result of of a mindset that thinks that that uh, everyone is inferior and and that, and, that, and and they think they have the right to manipulate people as as if, as if they were just things. They can't actually have uh, a spontaneous relationship with other people. They can just go and, and know someone. Uh, they normally uh, expand their relationships through their own actual uh, current networks. Because of two reasons. The first reason is that they can't stand failure. They can't stand the, the mere fact of going to say hello to a person and be ridiculous and and not being successful, not being perfect in that interaction, and also because they they understand relation as influence as as power, and they like to to move through the notes of their own network and because this is this is the superior of the idea of relationships of of power influence and and that stuff um, they normally in these situations try to act so confident they are not spontaneous they can't feel ridiculous they can't act dumb they can't be natural they need to be um, uh, super confident they need to always maintain this image of superiority as i was telling you before they really need it. They they don't feel secure without it. Actually, they need it because they lack of security. And and as my master says, what they don't, what they are not in the inside, they need to be on the outside. So this is why they, they act so confident because actually they are not uh, confident in the inside. They um, they also do a quite quite surprising thing. They normally avoid relations from their past uh, especially if they have things pending with them uh, they they normally avoid them until they are they feel superior until they have achieved what they think they need to feel superior they maybe so many times if if they don't feel superior they don't, they don't go to a to a high school meeting uh, 20 of, of, of your 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 friends from 20 years ago if they are not successful if they are not um, superior uh, in any in, in, in any aspect they they want to be because um, because they can't they need to be they, they need to meet when they are superior so so actually um, they it's it's like uh, they, they, that makes them vulnerable because because life goes on and time passes and, and this satisfaction 
not always comes and, and if, even if, if it comes it's not really satisfying so so they make this makes them really vulnerable really weak really you know really uh, the failure that they don't want to be there is a last trait I would like to talk to you is the, the necessity of, of be autonomous the necessity of not to owe anything to anyone the necessity to to be capable of dealing with everything alone and this is um, also a quite sad uh, situation because it, it, as you can see everything leads to to loneliness and and, and, and to solitude and and but, but they they really need it they they really need uh, to feel that they can do everything and leave this kind of divine uh, myth of divine uh, self image so so it's quite 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 uh, quite interesting to to reflect on uh, I would like to talk to you um, finally as I always say I always try to 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 bring you some or to, to invite you to, to practice a little on the things we do today I would like not to, to do the same I would like just to remind you that as I was telling you before arrogance is the worst of the sins on every spirituality on every religion uh, as far as I know and uh, and this is not just uh, just a, um, uh, this, uh, just a casualty this is uh, this is for a reason and it's because it's the most destructive uh, attitude the, the the beginning of everything it's the original scene on everything that that brings all the the bad things uh, to the world so so just uh, remind yourself that we are all human I am human, you are human, my master is human, the president of your country is human, and everyone you admire is... that person that, person that you admi admire the most is also human. So it's just really liberating uh, not to try to be perfect all the time. It's just uh, so much liberating to see life uh, through the eyes of that uh, little child that, that, that has nothing to lose, this little child that is facing challenge after challenge and growing, uh, overcoming them and, and, and enjoy life and, and, and enjoy your relations and don't try to be above everything. Sometimes you will be a master, the master on the situation, sometimes you will be the pupil, sometimes you will be the boss, sometimes you will be the, 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 the worst uh, uh, job in the, in the in the company so just enjoy all of them and uh, and go for it and, and 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 forget about this 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 arrogant arrogant stuff because the price you are paying is so so high it's really really high and you are you are you will never get in this way the things and the recognition you need to to get and uh, maybe even if you reflect on it, you will see that 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 recognition is not that important, and that, that life is maybe uh, about, as I was telling you before, um, uh, fight against yourself and beat yourself, not other people. So have a nice week, and uh, yeah, I have the pleasure to have you next week. Uh, it will be uh, really, really really fun again and, and and I wish you the best the best for this week. Thank you very much.